Hello and welcome back to Beckler Guitars and Repair. Today we're doing an unboxing video. I managed to find a uh, double cut style, Les Paul Jr. style guitar on Amazon for under $200. This is the West Creek double cut. Let's have a look. <laughs> It comes in a pretty sturdy box. Um, the cardboard seems pretty rigid. I've had a couple budget guitars show up in like very flimsy boxes. So, so yeah, it looks like just two thin, um, you know, straps of tape are holding the box closed. So go ahead and open those up. Okay, so it looks like uh, it's typical import guitar packaging looks like it's that styrofoam form fitted in a box there's a strip of foam at the top too and they had a couple different colors to choose from they had white and blue and I chose Shell pink, because I've always wanted a shell pink guitar. And I've kind of had Les Paul Jr. fever lately. I've been looking for one, um, just because there's something to this one pickup thing. And um, uh, I just really like the simplicity of the Les Paul Jr. style, just one volume, one tone, one pickup. And uh, yeah, I saw this pop up, so I definitely wanted to try it out. It looks like it comes wrapped in that uh, kind of styrofoam-like bag. And it comes with one cord here, just a cheap little patch cord. All right, let's put it on the bench and have a closer look. So first impressions, I really like the color. I think it looks good. Um, the bridge looks nice. It's got an intonatable bridge, so that means uh, you can move the saddles back and forward to get better intonation it's also got these screws in the back where you can actually physically move the bridge back and forth also to help with intonation the dog ear p90 looks standard the only issue i noticed right off the bat was there's quite a bit of space between the pickup and the strings so um, i think it needs to be closer however it doesn't look like the bridge would lower enough to make that work so i think we're gonna have to put some spacer spacers under the pickup just to get it closer up but that's not a huge problem. Um, there's no flaws that I noticed. I had a quick look before I put it on the bench and all the finish looks great. There's no drips or runs or scuffs or dings or weird spots. It looks like a very nicely finished guitar in that shell pink, which I think looks quite nice. I, I like the look of the control panel or plate too. It's kind of that Telecaster style mixed with the Les Paul Jr. And uh, I have to say it looks pretty classy. Um, the body shape seems to be about the same size as a standard Les Paul Jr. Um, they list the body and the neck in the description as mahogany so we can see that maybe when we get into the cavities a little bit more just to confirm that. They say that the fretboard is rosewood and it looks a little more like laurel to me but Sometimes rosewood can look like laurel. Maybe once we put some oil on it, because it looks a little dry, we can see whether or not that's true. We've got um, acrylic pearl dot inlays. And another feature I, I didn't notice was uh, this whole neck is bound. So it's actually got some nice binding on the neck. So a bound neck is nice because there's uh, less of a chance you're gonna get fret sprout. Um, you know this fret sticking out it can still kind of happen on the top But you know the tang won't stick out because it's covered with that binding. I also noticed the fret work looks pretty nice um, the fret ends are nice and rounded and uh, They feel very nice and smooth Just uh, set up out of the box It's uh, it's got pretty low action. I would say that's probably a little more than a 1.5 and a 1 at the high E but pretty close and uh, I tried up and down the neck and there was no buzz. 
So it comes set up pretty nicely, mine did anyway. we are uh, see how much better we can make this setup. And then we've got a bone nut, which is really cool. Usually only see bone nut on higher end type of guitar. So for, for it to be on a $200 guitar is pretty wild. And then we've got our inlay West Creek guitars. Uh, the inlay shines, so it appears to be Mother of Pearl, but maybe it's simulated Mother of Pearl, I'm not sure. But it looks good. And this is a set neck guitar for $200 which is, again, a little harder to find. Usually the bolt-ons are cheaper and more in this price point. And we've got a metal output jack, which is nice. And uh, again, yeah, the finish work and the fit and finish is nice. No glaring issues whatsoever. And everything looks nice and well done. There's our serial number. I'm assuming the 22 means 2022. And the W is West Creek Double Cut 2022. Another thing I just noticed was this has a volute. So um, on some Gibsons, and especially in the 70s, they put this volute in the back. Uh, I think they're making a comeback nowadays. They have a modern version of this volute. But the volute just reinforces the neck at the worst break point. So there's a lot of tension on uh, guitars like this with the angled headstock right here at the neck. Um, that's typically where you see a lot of breaks, so a volute kind of just reinforces that a little bit in case there is a fall or a, or a, an impact, it doesn't break quite as easily. So that's really nice to see, especially uh, a lot of Gibsons don't even have that. I'm not sure what kind of strings are on here, but they feel a little cheap and scratchy. So I'm going to just restring this thing as part of the setup. So here's a closer look at the bridge. Uh, it feels like it's pretty good. It's not it's not like it's got some weight to it So it's not super super cheap Again, you can adjust the saddles to do your intonation and how you restring it is you just put the string in the front It wraps around the back and then so it acts as a bridge and a saddle or a tailpiece and a saddle And then you've got your set screws on the side where you can further adjust your intonation if needed and then that just attaches to these bridge posts here um, and then you can you can adjust the bridge posts up and down so that actually is how you adjust your your height of your action let's have a look at the electronics and whatnot so okay in our pickup cavity we can see we've got just an unbranded gold plated uh, p90 here the dog ear p90 it's got the uh, plastic um, wire cover there so this is probably just the cheaper import style pickup however I've I've had a couple that were pretty surprising in terms of tone so let's not write it off quite yet um, the cavity is shielded in sort of a paint uh, so you can't really see the grain at all so I um, can't really confirm if that's Mahogany just based on that uh, Let's have a look under the pick guard So yeah, it's typical Les Paul Junior style the pick guard just cover is basically just a pick guard mounted to the body and I can't really see inside the holes very well for a, a confirmation of wood There's a weird Mark there. Oh, yeah, it's just it looks like it's just shielding paint that was on the body and that came right off no problem and now let's have a look at our cavity here oh okay so the cavity is shielded as well and so we can't really see wood although I do see some grain on the side and uh, it looks kind of mahogany ish just by going by wood grain alone but there are a few different wood grains that look like mahogany so Anyway, they're using full-size pots, which is nice, not just mini pots. And uh, you've got your green capacitor there. And the routes look very clean as well. So clean routes, uh, kind of cheaper electronics it looks like, but they are using full-size pots. And uh, yeah, so not too bad. All right, so you can buy P90 
spacer. So basically the P90 spacer is just a little piece of plastic that you put underneath to raise it up. But uh, I don't have one on hand, so I'm just gonna make one quickly out of foam. So I'm just using a piece of foam I found in an old box that I had. This is like a higher density foam, which is gonna be perfect for this use. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a piece off. There we are all done. I kind of adjusted my um, method a little bit. I was just going to put a piece of foam over top, but they kept falling into the cavity a little bit when I applied pressure. So what I ended up doing is I just built up that cavity with a couple pieces of foam with one more on top, and that's going to increase the height. All right, having a look at the neck. So here's our headstock. It's pretty nice and clean. I like the style here. This just this little swoop there. A little cutout. It looks kind of neat. Um, the logo looks all right, and yeah, like I said, it, that thing shines in the light. So it appears to be mother of pearl or some sort of imitation mother of pearl. And here's a look at the truss cover. It's a kind of a gravestone shaped. Uh, it says double cut on there. DC it appears to be yeah. It's a it's a two ply. And um, our truss rod is kind of that dual action style with the Allen key adjustment. And I just tried it out here. Yeah, it appears to be nice and tight and responsive. So that's great. There's a look at our bone nut, which is really nice. It looks like it's well cut and uh, it's, it's well fit to the guitar. There's no shoulder sticking out or anything else like that. And I've conditioned the rosewood fretboard. So it looks nice, it's nice and dark, and it does look like it is rosewood, so that's a nice spec on a guitar of this price point. And the frets are surprisingly nice, they're pretty shiny, there's no wear, there's not a lot of tooling marks on the fingerboard, which happens on even Gibsons quite a lot. Um, the binding feels great, there's no fret sprout at all, so that's pretty pretty nice. Alright so here's the sock test. I just use a super thin nylon sock to go over the edges just to prove that there's no fret sprout or anything like that. So I'm going to start off on the treble side here. And uh, yeah not even a single mark. So very nice. And then I'm going to do the, the bass side which feels just as good. And again yeah literally nothing. And uh, that's really, really surprising on a guitar this inexpensive. So, pretty impressive. Just grabbing some quick specs on the guitar. Um, so yeah, this thing is quite light, weighing in at six pounds, 10.5 ounces. All right, so our pickup is reading at 8.18. So that's kind of a cool pickup reading. It's kind of more of a vintage style. Um, usually like an old vintage P90s usually read around the eight. Um, mark, you know, some of the higher output ones are like 14, 15, but I think this is going to be voice more kind of a vintage style. So a 1.694 at the nut and at the 12th that beefs up to a 2.11. Depth at the first fret is a 0.98. So a little chunkier and at the 12th a 0.95 so what that tells me is i'm getting the volute in the reading so i'm going to go ahead and do the second fret so that, that makes a little bit more sense so this is a 0.84 at the second fret a bit of an interesting neck profile this is a, it's kind of like a c but a little bit more like a u even so there's a little like narrows a little bit more at the top a little bit less shoulders and that's the same thing at the 12th uh, it does flatten out a little bit so that's kind of interesting uh, the neck feels chunky uh, kind of like a 50 style but uh, again with a little bit uh, of that U profile so it's it's kind of a unique feeling neck it feels good though all right so far this guitar seems confusingly good um, I have no idea how they can 
get this level of quality at this price, but it's wild. So this, I'm just showing off the setup now. This thing came pretty much out of the box set up. All I did was lower the bridge a little bit to get a lower action for my taste, but the truss rod was set correctly. It's intonated properly. Um, all the frets are level. I used a fret rocker. It's just really wild, uh, the quality of this thing. So let's just check. So yeah, there's just a tiny bit of relief in the neck. I have the truss rod set pretty straight. You can see there's just a little line between the notch straight edge and the fretboard. And then action at the nut. You can see when I'm using the third fret that uh, on the first fret, the string's just resting very nicely against that fret. So that tells me that the nut is cut really nicely as well, properly. And uh, we've got nice low action over here. At the 12th fret, our low E is set at 1.5 millimeters and our high E is set at just at one. So that's how I set all my guitars. Um, that's typically how I set all my high end guitars because my lower end guitars aren't able to get that low of action without a ton of buzz. So if I want that low of action, typically on a budget guitar, I've got to do a bunch of fret work to it to let it be able to play like that. Um, this guitar, I set it like this and there doesn't seem to be any buzz or fretting out anywhere. Where Okay, wow. Uh, yeah, so crazy, very nice low action and uh, no fretting out or buzzing anywhere on this guitar. And that's with no setup done whatsoever. And I'm not sponsored or anything by this company. I just literally went on Amazon and saw it pop up as a sale for under $200 and I just thought it'd be fun to try it out and maybe do some mods to it and make it nice and playable. But so far I've had, I haven't had to do anything to it. I've just had to raise the pickup a little bit with a piece of foam and lower the bridge a little bit. Everything else has been stock and it's playing like a super high-end guitar. So uh, yeah, pretty wild. I, I don't even, I don't even. Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in and see how it's. All right, I'm plugged into my 65 Deluxe Reverb reissue. Um, I've got the gain set at four and a half, treble set at four and a half, bass at four and a half. My reverb set at two and a half. I'm using a Carl Speaker Soak uh, attenuator just to get that more of a tube volume or tube sound at lower volumes. And I'm just gonna be running through this very quickly. There's not a lot of options, just the one pickup tone and volume. And uh, yeah, let's see how it sounds. We'll do clean, we'll do dirty, and then we'll just play around a little bit. <laughs> Even the pickup sounds great. Um, this thing is wild. I mean, it sounds like an old vintage 
P90. It has a really nice spank and it's really articulate and clear. And uh, yeah, it sounds really good clean. Um, that combined with the playability is amazing. Uh, let's hear how it sounds with a little bit of dirt. Yeah, the pickups sound great, clean and dirty. Um, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of fuzz on here for fun, but yeah, this thing sounds awesome. So what are my final thoughts on the West Creek double cut in shell pink? Yeah, this thing is amazing. It, I paid $200 for this guitar and uh, that's $200 Canadian. So like that's like $150 American and I can't find anything wrong with it. And quite the contrary, everything on it is, is awesome. And yeah, it's like the fret work is crazy. I've got the action very nice and low and I can get it as low as I want and there's no hint of buzz or fret or fretting out anywhere. The fret ends are nice and rounded. It has binding, so there's yeah, zero fret sprout. The nut is cut perfectly. The bone nut is cut perfectly. So even getting a bone nut on a guitar at this price point is crazy. And the pickup sounds awesome. It sounds like a proper vintage P90. There's lots of spank and growl and it just breaks up exactly when you want it to and it sounds really, really, really good. Clean or dirty. The bridge you get is awesome. It's fully, the saddles are fully intonatable so you can move them back or forwards to adjust your intonation uh, as well as the whole bridge, but it came perfectly intonated. I didn't have to mess with anything. And I really like the aesthetic. The shell pink looks great. Uh, I really like this Tele style pickup cover cavity here. I think it looks quite classy. It comes with a rosewood fingerboard. Um, the rosewood looks nice. It's nice and dark. It was a little dry when I first got it, but I put some oil on it and it really darkened up and looks great. It's got a volute, 
which is something even higher end Gibsons don't have to protect against uh, breaks or impacts in that area. The tuners are just kind of cheaper import tuners, but they were fine. The guitar stayed in tune really well uh, after I stretched the strings and uh, tuned it up. I didn't have to tune it hardly at all. And uh, yeah, this thing is pretty mind blowing. I'm, I have to pay more attention to this company, West Creek, because if they're putting out guitars like this at uh, that price, that is absolutely crazy. I mean, uh, I'm surprised that these things aren't a bigger deal right now. I haven't heard very many people talk about this, but this guitar feels and sounds like a, a thousand dollar instrument, especially materials and uh, attention to detail on it. It's, it's pretty incredible. I would suggest if these are still on sale um, or even if they're not, go and get one and try it out yourself because you're not putting a lot of money into it. And uh, I know these factory guitars are all, um, it's kind of a crapshoot if you get a good one or not. Uh, well, depending on the level of quality control of the company. But uh, yeah, this one unboxed came to me almost perfect and it plays and sounds incredible. Um, so, I mean, you could go ahead and try to get one on Amazon and if there's an issue with it, you can always return it. But uh, if this thing is any indication of how the, the rest are, um, go get one right now. <laughs> and again, I'm not sponsored by this company or anything like that. I, I just wanted to try something uh, that I saw when I was browsing and uh, it came to me just like this. And it's honestly, it's an insane guitar for the money. Uh, I can't think of anything else that touches it. Maybe one of those e Ert guitars, E-A-R-T, Ert, E-Art, whatever they are. Cause I know they're inexpensive, but they're not even, they're not this cheap. And I think prices on those have gone up a bit. So yeah, this is the West Creek double cut, um, in shell pink. And, uh, it definitely scratches that Les Paul Jr. Itch. It sounds the part, plays great. It's light. It's comfortable. I highly recommend this guitar. Anyway. Yeah. So I'm just as surprised as you are. Um, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for tuning in to Beckler Guitars and Repair. I'm going to have more for you really soon. Uh, have a great day.